In this video, we're going to take a look at container elements. Now, container elements are very special smart elements that don't have a predefined content structure and they can contain other design elements inside them. These elements give you the freedom to build any kind of content structure inside them. Now, Brizzy has several different container elements to work with. I've already opened a couple up and we're going to take a look at how to work with the accordion. But let me just quickly show you some of the other options you have available. You can see at the top, we've got the accordion, which we'll come back to in a moment. We've also got things like the timeline. We've got tabs, a carousel, a switcher, lots of different options to allow you to get creative with your designs. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use the accordion as an example. Let's remove this icon to start off with. And this gives us the blank placeholder that allows us to insert pretty much any element we want from Brizzy Cloud. So let's come up to our elements over on the left hand side. We can simply drag any of these into our design. So let's go ahead and insert, first of all, a column. We'll drop that inside there. We've now split this into two separate columns. Now we can go ahead and add whatever element we want into the left and right hand sides. First of all, let's go ahead and add an image into the left. We'll upload an image. This one will do. Once you've inserted the image, you can go ahead and set any parameters you want in there. So we may want to zoom in, for example, readjust the position. All those options are available to us. So now we can go ahead and put whatever we want into the right hand side. So again, let's click on the plus. This time we're going to grab the text element, drop that into our right hand side. You can see that now pulls in some text. If you want to just like add a button, we can simply search for our button pop that into the right hand side and we've now inserted a button. So we can go ahead and customize any aspect of that. Once you've finished working with the first accordion section, you can simply come to the second one and start inserting any kind of design you want inside you. If you want to add more accordions, you can do exactly that. And this is where the flexibility of the container element really starts to shine. And we've got all those options available and more in various different sections like the timeline, tabs, carousel, and so on. I would highly recommend taking a few minutes to go through, test these out and seeing how creative you can get using these container elements and the various different elements we have to use them.